I'm now going to show you how you can make rolled floral embellishments for your project. So this one is Columbine or Aquilegia is the other name you know Columbine as and it was made from a long strip of paper that I have cut using one of my edge to edge flower dies. So this is another way that you can be making your flowers. So first of all I'm going in with a white pencil and I'm just going to go and draw some veins on here in white pencil. Now you can't really see these but don't panic because we know they're there. So basically all the white pencil is doing is acting as a resist and this is a lovely way that you can also do foliage. If you're doing foliage on your embe embellishments add in a white pencil before you colour them and you're going to get um, a resist. So once I've done that, I'm going to go in with my yellow pen. This is just an alcohol pen. I'm going to colour the base of the next five petals. Just a little bit of yellow. I just want it to be a hint of yellow visible once it's rolled up. And I'm also going to go along the tops of the stamens with my yellow. Now this is, I've cut this out of my magazine print quality paper. So it really is a paper, not a card. That's all come through. So it really will work perfectly and you just have to roll it. So once I've done that, I'm then gonna get my purple ink. Let's move these bits out of the way. And I'm gonna get my purple ink and I'm going to come on here and blend it on here. Now I'm going to go up this pet flower and can you see where I've got the white pencil oops can you see the resist coming out just trying to make sure I don't rip my petals off so all we're trying to do is add in a little bit of extra detail and you can do this on all of your um, floral embellishments and then I'm just going to come in at the bottom of this I want these to be mainly white so I just want a little bit of purple to show up here and that's going to go just there and again we don't take too long colouring doesn't matter if I'm going over the yellow at all just put a little hint of the purple showing through there now you can possibly see this where the inks come can you see the score lines that have come through this and I've got one here that I've reinforced the score lines for here can you see I've really reinforced them and all I'm going to do now is fold on pleat it on here so what this actually does is it overlays the petals one on top of the other so there's no way you could physically cut petals that close together because they are overlapping and that's what the edge to edge dies do is they bring the petals closer than you've ever been able to get them before. So what you then do is take a little bit of wet glue. Now, my top tip for you would be, is once you've glued this, is you put it to one side for 10, 15 minutes to let the glue dry. Because if you try to manipulate this flower while the glue is still wet, you'll find it will, that's when it will fall apart. So I'm just bringing that in and I'm just bringing it in on a straight line. Can you see I'm trying to keep this as straight as possible? Sometimes that's not that easy to do because it tries to, to twist, but we will just keep persevering. There we go. Now, once I've done this, I found that, that was, I was just told that that's the only side that you need to do. Oh, I should have done a bit of shaping beforehand, but we can do that in a minute. What I'm actually going to do is I'm gonna flip this over and as you see, I'm going to add a little bit of glue on the back here as well. Just, that one's got a bit, just come through on that one. So just tiniest little bit of glue on there to hold it there as well. And you'll just find it'll be stronger for doing it. And then we can pop one, two, there we go. Work all the way along there just reinforcing those. Now I should have perhaps done the shaping beforehand, which I forgot to do, but it's not gonna be a problem. So all I'm going to do, bring this in and I'm gonna work down each petal in turn. Let's go that way, because that's the way I want it to go. And I'm just going to shape the petals. Like I said, it would have been easier to do it before I glued it, but I forgot. 
but we can get round it if we want to. There's my other, there we go. Going in with a smaller ball tool on those ones there. Now, as I say, can you see these are popping off? So what you want to do is leave those to dry. Oops, there we go. So it's shaped nicely. And this is a dry one. Can you see it's so much more rigid? So all we need to do now is we get our tweezers. Now this is where you, it almost feels wrong because what we're going to do is we're going to roll it across the front. Naturally I want to roll it behind but I'm going to roll it across the front. Let's get, make sure that's nice and tight. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of wet glue as we go. Not too much because I don't want the paper to go soggy. Can you see how that spreads? I don't need to put it all the way along. Now, once we get to the petals, this is why we've rolled along the front. Can you see? So the petals are now going to go out. And hopefully, if we roll this right, you have to do a little bit of manipulation as you finish. Can you see straight away those three petals are sort of opposite each other, as if three can be. And then the fourth one, I can just pull round into that gap. That's going to pull into that gap. And then the fifth one is going to go round into that gap. Now, don't worry, because we will just manipulate them a little bit more once they are stuck on. So all we need to do then is just spread them. There we go. And pull them into place, just like that. And then we're going to go round with the next ones. Don't worry about breaking down the fibres of the, of the paper. So as I'm going, I'm squeezing it so that I can manipulate it a bit better. And then we're going to do exactly the same. I want that one there. I want that one there. And I want that one there. Oh, I've not put any glue on there. So let's put the glue on. So that's going to go there. That's going to pull that way. That's going to pull that way. And that one is going to pull that way. So you just have to, no, nope, it wants to go the other way around, okay. There you go, just let them go where they naturally want to fall. And then once you've got them into place, you can always just put a little bit of, there you go, can you see? A little bit of glue to hold them. So that one's going to go there. I've got a gap just around there. Which one's going to move? That one. So just move them. Oops, I pulled that off pull them into place. There we go. Let me just put a little bit of glue just there where that one's come a little bit unstable. And that's going to pop just in there where I pulled that, but don't worry about that. But how about that? And then what you need to do, there we go, can you see all the petals are spread around, is just gently soften the stamens. And that is how you make rolled embellishments just like this. Aren't they lovely? Just keep playing till you get them where you want. How gorgeous are those?